so the first question that was asked in that particular exam is like this ustad zakir hussain is an exponent of which of the following musical instrument these are the four options this question is very easy as you know zakir hussain you must have seen in taj ad and he was playing tabla in that particular ad and uh, he is related to the tabla instrument okay so the correct answer for this question is tabla okay you can relate your general awareness with the happening around you okay let's see the next question this question says uh, which of the naval ship has been converted into a swimming museum by india okay so these are some ships like uh, ins hamla ins delhi ins vikrant and last option is none of these okay these are very old ship uh, which were brought from the uh, various countries okay but uh, this ins vikrant this uh, ship is converted into a swimming museum because this was decommissioned by the navy at that time okay so option c was the right answer let's see the next question a very good question a very important question student so uh, there is one international standard time and the other one is indian standard uh, time okay so as you know Uh, with respect to international standard time we are 5 hour plus 5 hour 30 minutes right but indian standard time is the local time of which of the following city okay so you should remember it is mirzapur allahabad okay there is one city called mirzapur in up which is near allahabad okay so that represent the local time as indian standard time okay so mirzapur allahabad up is the correct answer okay let's see the next question the missile agni 2 of india is what these are the four option let's see who can answer this question student uh, this question has two options which are correct okay remember student uh, this agni missile is nuclear missile as well as it is surface to surface missile so option a and c both are correct okay and as you know agni uh, is a intercontinental ballistic missile icbm intercontinental ballistic missile and it is a very huge range currently uh, it is in advanced stage so we have seen agni 5 and we have seen also recently agni prime okay so these are nuclear missile as well as surface to surface missile what is surface to sea missile any anything surface to air missile you know astra not astra it is what surface to air missile uh, you are dropping anything so you have garuda and uh, whatever the bombs you are taking garutma these are some uh, weapons of india okay and one air to air missile is also there air to air that is you have heard astra and uh, from surface to air one more missile is there akash very popular missile of india okay but for this particular question you should remember it is nuclear missile as well as it is surface to surface missile okay let's see the next question who among the following is the chairman of national integration this is council okay national integration council so these are the four option as you know this uh, national integration council was uh, made during independence time and uh, it was uh, made by our prime minister at that time that is pandit jawaharlal nehru so option c is the correct answer for this question so prime minister has uh, made this national integration council and he is the chairman of that council okay let's see the next question 
which of the following shipyard builds warship for indian navy okay there are certain warship that uh, certain psus are making okay so which of the following shipyards makes warship for indian navy these all are uh, shipyards okay but mazdon docks okay mazdon docks mumbai mazgaon docks mumbai builds warship for indian navy just remember and note it down okay this shipyard makes warship for indian navy right let's see the next question student uh, this question i am not sure uh, whether this is correct or uh, wrong because the question is like this uh, which of the following has been awarded with bharat ratna posthumously as you know uh, jay prakash narayan vinoba bhave pandit madan mohan malviye all these have been awarded but only netaji subhash chandra bose was not awarded so the question should be which of the following has not been awarded for bharat ratna posthumously or even not awarded at all so netaji subhash chandra bose should be the right answer because uh, jay prakash narayan vinoba bhave they have been uh, awarded posthumously okay so i am very not sure about this question you can also have a look and you can tell us in our comment box okay let's see the next question who has written the book the elephant the tiger and the cellphone okay student uh, this book was uh, released in year 2007 okay and it is written by a very famous politician as well as very popular indian shashi tharoor okay shashi tharoor has written this book the elephant the tiger and the cell phone okay let's see the next question this is from history which of the following gupta king stopped hunas from invading india okay so they have attacked india in certain point of history so the correct answer for this question was skanda gupta okay skanda gupta was the correct answer so option a is the right answer if you know this question well and good you are very good in history right let's see the next question uh, this is very very good question which of the following awards is considered as alternate nobel prize okay there is a nobel prize as you know nobel prize is given to those people who did tremendous work in field of basically physics chemistry science as well as economy humanity okay but a certain award uh, which are not recognized in this field right livelihood gives those award which improves the uh, lifestyle of the people okay so this is considered as alternative nobel prize this is considered as alternate nobel prize okay let's see the next question this is from the general science a very easy one the sky appears blue due to as you know it is not the color of sea water it is not the presence of water in cloud it is scattering of light by the dust particle okay when light is scattered your sky appears blue okay let's see the next question the international women's day is observed on which of the following day these are the four options and as you know 8th march is being observed as international women's day okay so option a was the right answer for this question quickly coming to the next question uh, this is from the scheme at that particular time this is from the current affairs okay this is from the current affairs at that time so we are skipping this question so you can see uh, the question says world bank recently approved a loan for which of the following indian state to improve safety of road okay so we are not uh, having this answer okay let's see the next question uh, again a very good question who among the following was the indian to bag gold in olympics these are the four option student as you know 
अभिनव बिंद्रा अभिनव बिंद्रा इन टेन मीटर एयर राइफल शूटिंग बैक द इंडियन गोल्ड फर्स्ट टाइम इन ओलंपिक्स सो अभिनव बिंद्रा इज द राइट आंसर सो इफ आई चेंज द क्वेश्चन हु इज वॉज द फर्स्ट इंडियन टू बैग अ मेडल इन ओलंपिक देन के डी जाधव विल बी द राइट आंसर ओके के डी जाधव ही वॉन इन आई थिंक नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टू अराउंड ओके सो बट दिस फॉर पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इट इज अभिनव बिंद्रा राइट सो ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन A judge of the High Court can be removed from the office before the expiry of his tenure by, as you know, there is a procedure called impeachment. Impeachment. In that impeachment, there is a discussion on the Parliament and the uh, number of candidates who do favor in impeachment. That recommendation went to the President for the final signature. So. it is done by president on the recommendation of parliament okay let's see the next question motivate refers to which of the following okay it is modified value added tax okay generally it is uh, given on the raw materials okay raw materials and uh, for these particular options as you know this raw material uh, tax can only be imposed on excise duty so if you have excise duty then mod vat also valid okay so option c was the right answer the next question is iist stand for what these are the four option and uh, this iist is in kerala okay it is in kerala a very famous institute indian institute of space science and technology okay so option b was the right answer and your time starts now student the first question is with which sport do you associate name of geet sethi okay these are the four option yes time sir student i request all of you to answer and check whether you are able to answer that question okay so student this geet sethi is very popular billiard player okay and he was quite popular uh, around uh, 2012 so you can think this is a current affair question okay so geet sethi is a billiard players okay so those who have go given option b they are right okay let's see the next question and your time starts now student this question is from geography okay then the question says which of the following state is a member of seven sisters okay so you must know what are seven sisters student as you know this is our india okay sorry for the diagram but consider this is our india okay so student this north is portion there are seven state which uh we call as seven sisters okay so student in these north is uh, seven states tripura is one of the seven sisters west bengal bihar and delhi they are not part of seven sister okay seven sister include tripura meghalaya assam arunachal pradesh nagaland sikkim okay let's move to the next question and the answer is option c and the next question your time starts now you can say it is from the polity okay so as you have seen in the court a blind folded woman holding a balance in her hand is a symbol of what student it is a symbol of justice okay so the balance okay the balance indicate it ensure the equality among the two parties okay so the justice is the correct answer okay let's see the next question student this is very important question for all the exam okay 
because this uh, organization unit sarc south asian association of regional cooperation this is basically india's neighbor okay as you know india pakistan sri lanka these are neighboring country iran is not a neighbor country so sarc is a not uh, iran is not a member of sarc okay student uh, one more question the headquarter of sarc is in kathmandu nepal just remember kathmandu nepal okay so option c is the correct answer let's see the next question it is from the indian polity a very difficult one but try to answer this so in the question says the authorization of withdrawal of fund from consolidated fund of india must come from okay so this consolidated fund of india must come from the discussions and generally discussions happen in parliament so option b is the correct answer okay let's see the next question this is from the economy a very simple one economy okay so question says repo rate is the rate which is decided by which of the following organization and these are the four options student the repo rate is the rate or the percentage which rbi give loans to all the bank okay so rbi is the correct answer so option d is the correct answer coming to the next question it is from the history okay it is from the history the question says which indian leader declared for the first time that india's goal was swaraj okay so freedom student uh, the answer for this question is dada bhai naro ji okay in around 1906 he said that the goal of india is swaraj freedom so option a is the right answer coming to the next question and your time starts now it is again from the indian polity it is again from the indian polity so you can prepare the questions accordingly okay so question stay says zero hour okay you must have heard this uh, term zero hour in parliament refer to the time okay student this is a time when uh, a member can ask unscheduled question okay generally the proceeding goes with the scheduled question but in this time you can ask any unscheduled question also okay so option d is the right answer let's see the next question a very good one question student you make it as a important question the five year plan in the country is finally approved by whom okay so as you know uh, we have a year plan for the country so once that is frame and that need to be approved by which of the following organization okay so student option d national development council ndc okay national development council generally approve the five year plan okay let's see the next question it is from the economy again a very lengthy question and a very confusing question so question says in international trade when a country a extend most favored nation this terminology you should know most favored nation treatment to country b it means okay so generally he wants to know what is the definition of most favored nation treatment okay so student remember when b gets better treatment than any other country from a it is called most favored nation okay so suppose there are many uh, countries okay so a b c d okay so if a given offer that you are our most favored nation so obviously b will get better treatment from other country c and d okay so option c is the right answer let's see the next question and your time starts now a very good question and a very important question student student the question says which statutory official in india can participate in lok sabha discussion but cannot vote okay he can participate in lok sabha discussion but cannot vote student remember only members can vote 
okay but he is a statutory official and as you know all of these are statutory official but only attorney general can take part in the lok sabha discussion but still he cannot vote okay so option a is the right answer let's see the next question a very simple one this we have seen many times it is from indian polity okay it is from indian polity so hebus corpus as you know it is unlawful detention so it is an order from the court to produce a person held under illegal de uh, detention okay so option d is the right answer quickly coming to the next question it is from the general science and very simple question you must have studied in your 10th class student the question says electrical current is measured by what so student let's see one by one with voltmeter you measure voltages okay for lactometer you measure milk okay for anemometer you measure wind direction and speed direction and speed okay for ammeter you measure current okay so option d is the right answer okay let's see the next question it is from the books and author and it is from the current affair in fact so it is from books and authors student this book keeping the faith memories of parliament was written by somna chatterjee so option c is the right answer student this is current affair that time okay so somnath chatterjee was the right answer let's see the next question it is again from the science a very basic question the smallest particle of a substance that can be capable of independent existence and retaining the properties of original substance okay see these all are part of what atom okay so atom is a single independent unit but it cannot uh, be independently exist okay molecule is a combination of atom and in atom we have uh, electron proton and neutron right so but the question says the smallest particle which have independent existence that is important independent existence and retain the property of original substance student molecule okay option b molecule exist in independent form and it retains the original property for example let's take an oxygen molecule so this molecule retain uh, the properties of original oxygen as well as it can exist independently okay let's see the next question it is from the current affairs at that time okay who is the present chairman of isro when 2012 so at that time it is dr k radha krishnan so k radha krishnan was the right answer so if you are going for uh, this 2023 uh, isro assistant exam just have a look on the present chairman okay let's see the next question it is from the study the science of nature of heavenly bodies okay the science of nature of heavenly bodies is called what okay heavenly bodies student the science is called cosmology okay which is basically the objects present in the universe okay so option a is the right answer let's see the next question it is again from the science okay so student the largest gland largest organ of human body is liver okay so liver is the correct answer the second largest organ is pancreas okay so pancreas is the second largest so option a liver is the right answer okay let's see the next question the age of a tree is determined by its what okay so if you want to know the age of a tree how much uh, that tree is old you can determine with the help of growth ring okay so if you uh, cut the trunk you will find rings in that stem or the trunk okay so if you count those ring it is generally uh, known as it is its age okay so growth ring is the correct answer 
let's see the next question an individual residing in rural area wish to get guaranteed 100 day employment in government sector he can get it through which of the following schemes okay so student this is from the schemes current schemes so this is a very popular scheme where government gives 100 day guaranteed employment and this comes under manrega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme manrega okay let's see the next question and your time starts now the question is who has been appointed as india's first woman finance secretary student the first woman secretary is shushmanath okay so option a is the right answer this is a very difficult one uh, just remember it let's see the next question student this question is from the current affair okay so government has decided to stop uh, circulation of 25 paisa coin student as you know this 25 paisa coin was stopped in circulation in year 2011 and this exam was held in 2012 so the answer for this particular question is june 30th 2011 okay 2011 so june 30 2011 is the correct answer this is from the current affairs okay don't worry you need not to remember all the days just go for the last year current affairs okay let's see the next question it is from the science a very simple question okay the strength of an earthquake can be measured by a device called so as you can see thermometer is used for temperature barometer is uh, used for atmospheric pressure and uh, seismograph is used for measuring the earthquake okay so option a is the correct answer question is who introduced the system of civil services okay and your time starts now so you have four options here so you need to tell who had introduced system of civil services yes those who have given option a warren hastings they are right student warren hastings has introduced the system of civil services whereas lord cornwallis is known as father of modern civil service exam okay so here they have asked who has introduced this system so warren hastings is the correct answer coming to the next question and your time start now student uh, this barcelona olympic is very important from the olympics point of view because in this two new games are introduced what are these two new sports and the answer for this question is badminton and baseball okay from barcelona olympics 1992 this badminton and baseball were introduced okay so option c was the correct answer coming to the next question a very good question student and very important for the forthcoming exam as well the only indian woman to become president of who okay was these are the four option these are four all are very eminent personalities and the only indian who became president of who was rajkumar amrit kaur okay dr rajkumar amrit kaur is the correct answer okay so option d is a correct answer okay and uh, vijay lakshmi pandit as you know she uh, became secretary for uh, uno right let's see the next question and your time starts now students this question is basically from the current affairs during that time so this question is basically from 2014 and the question says name the largest indigenously built warship commissioned in indian navy by prime minister of india at naval dockyard mumbai recently so recently means it is 2014 student and the answer for that question was ins kolkata okay so accordingly you need to prepare your questions okay so those uh, 
events which have happened recently that you need to cover okay so for this particular question ins kolkata was the right answer let's see the next question again student uh, this question was from the current affair in year 2014 okay so we will skip this question because this was current affair at that time okay coming to the next question it is again from the current affair uh, okay so some uh, award has been given by the south african government okay so these are the four personalities you need to tell the name of that personality okay student i have put this question uh, so that you have an idea of what question could be asked in the upcoming exam okay so that you can prepare accordingly okay let's see the next question again see it is from the 2014 and exam held on uh, october 2014 so these are very recent ones so at least 6 month uh, current affairs you need to prepare okay again this question is from the current affair and this is itself from the isro where they ask which uh, satellite launch vehicle is used to uh, launch this french earth observation satellite okay coming to the next question uh, this is from the static one let's see who can answer this question name the first national security advisor of india okay these are the four options student uh, say you can use the elimination method as well as you know ak antony and arun jetli uh, these are the minister ak antony was uh, sometime uh, defense minister and arun jetli was finance minister so we have left with option 2 so you can make a guess on these two okay but the right answer for this question is brijesh misra okay brijesh misra is the correct answer he is the first national security advisor of india okay coming to the next question this is from the static gk and this question we have in fact seen in drdo septum exam as well okay those who have given they knew this answer and the answer for this question is tejas student tejas is the first indigenous lc light combat aircraft which was developed by drdo and hcl okay so this tejas is the right answer for this question okay let's see the next question it is again from the static plus you can say it is from the current affair as well because at that time this indian super league was very popular okay and as you know indian super league is associated with football and football is the right answer quickly coming to the next question it is from the static and a very uh, good question in fact where you need to think logically you can answer that question times up and uh, those who have given their option as jupiter they are right why jupiter have maximum one revolution okay student first you need to understand the difference between rotation and revolution okay so they are asking about revolution as you know the sequence it is mercury venus earth mars jupiter so jupiter is far away so obviously it will take a long revolution to uh, around the sun okay so option d is the correct answer let's see the next question again uh, this question is from the current affair okay and uh, as you can see it is from the current affair and the option why v reddy was the right answer so you can uh, also expect the current finance commission chairman they can uh, ask you okay so prepare accordingly student a very good question it is from the economics and uh, it is a very good question in fact if you read it devaluation of currency help to promote what okay so when a government devalues the currency it means it reduces the value of the currency what will happen okay so student basically if you are uh, decreasing your currency value what will happen uh, the exports will be promoted okay so export why how it will promote uh the foreign country will try to import those uh, products which are very at cheaper cost so for from india perspective the export will increase okay so devaluation of currency basically help in promoting exports okay so exports is the right answer let's see the next question student 
दिस क्वेश्चन लेट सी वू कैन आंसर दिस इज आई थिंक इट्स रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट एज यू नो मैकमोहन लाइन इज द इन फ्रंटियर लाइन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड चाइना बट दे हैव गिवन पाकिस्तान एंड चाइना ओके सो आई एम नॉट श्योर वेदर दिस लाइन इज बिटवीन पाकिस्तान एंड चाइना बट आई एम श्योर दैट मैकमोहन लाइन इज अ फ्रंटियर लाइन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड चाइना ओके सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज इन वैलिड कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके इट इज अगेन फ्रॉम द टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन अ मेजर इवेंट वेयर तेलंगाना स्टेट वॉज फॉर्म ओके एंड देवर आस्किंग तेलंगाना बिकम ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया ऑन विच ऑफ द डेट ओके सो दीज आर द फोर ऑप्शन ओके एज यू नो एट दैट टाइम इट वॉज समर एंड वी हैव टू ऑप्शन लेफ्ट ओके एंड फ्रॉम दीज टू ऑप्शन ऑप्शन डी जून टू 2014 is the right answer june 2nd is the right answer okay quickly coming to the next question it is from the science a basic science okay so pellagra is caused by what what is pellagra pellagra is a deficiency disease uh, which is caused by which of the following vitamin it is caused due to deficiency of vitamin niacin and niacin is vitamin b3 so vitamin b3 is the right answer vitamin d we have uh, deficiency disease of rickets and in vitamin c deficiency is what scurvy and vitamin b12 you can say it is anemia okay so option a was the right answer coming to the next question it is from the important days student this national cancer awareness uh, day is observed on 7th november every year okay 7th november every year so this was celebrated to commemorate the birth anniversary of which of the following okay so as you know madam curie has uh, done in the field of radioactive elements so and this radioactive elements are very widely used in cancer so you can relate with that so madam curie is the right answer for this question okay coming to the next question it is from the books so who is the author of book inspiring thoughts okay inspiring thoughts who has written this book student this book uh, is written by dr apj abdul kalam and it is the right answer okay let's see the next question it is from the game this time we have seen a lot of question in drdo related to games and this time they have asked with which sport the term caddy is associated so you should know what is caddy caddy is a person who carries equipment uh, with the player so generally in golf generally in uh, this is not bridge okay option b is wrong generally generally in golf uh, caddy is related okay so this answer is option d not option b okay so option d is the right answer coming to the next question it is again from the book and your time starts now who amongst the following is the author of book dreams from my father a story of races and in and inheritance okay student this book was popular at that time and that is written by president us president barack obama okay barack obama is the right answer okay let's see the next question who developed the first tb vaccine okay so all these uh, four personality are related to vaccine okay and as you know jonas salk is invented polio vaccine gf ander is known as father of modern vaccines and uh, louis pasteur okay you know he is well known for the vaccination but the first tb vaccine was uh, developed by leon kalmert and camille green okay so option c is the right answer coming to the i think this is the last question in india if white revolution is associated with milk then yellow revolution is associated with what okay so generally you can relate with the color generally milk is white so it is white revolution and generally yellow is generally oil seed uh, you you can also take sunflower but uh, this particular revolution is related to oil seed okay sesame and mustard seed 
so option c is the correct answer coming to the last question of uh, this previous year questions shanti swarup bhatnagar prize is given for outstanding contribution in the field of which field okay student this question we have seen recently in drdo exam and the answer for this question is you know it's science so option b is the correct answer and the first question is on your screen and your time starts now the question says the kakra par atomic power station is located in which of the following states so these are the four options so let's see one by one so in rajasthan there is one power station called red rajasthan atomic power station okay rajasthan atomic power station in gujarat this kakra par atomic power station is there so this is the correct answer it is situated in surat city okay in maharashtra there is one famous atomic power station called tarapur okay and uh, one more important power station is in up it is called narora power station okay narora atomic power station it is in up and one more important power station of india is in tamil nadu and its name is kalpakkam okay kalpakkam okay so for this particular question option b is the right answer gujarat in gujarat kakrapar atomic station is located okay let's see the next question who is the first indian classical musician to perform at united nation okay so student the first pandit bhimsen joshi is uh, related to sitar okay he is he is a sitar player okay pandit jasraj as you know he is a classical singer classical musician okay and ustad zakir husain as you know he is a famous famous tabla player right for this particular question ms subla subha lakshmi she is a classical singer and she is the first indian who did performance at united nation she is also bharat ratna in 1998 okay so she is a bharat ratna as well so option d option 4 ms subha lakshmi is the right answer okay let's see the next question google computing program alpha go is related to which of the following okay so as you know uh, google is a very famous tech company and uh, previously in year 2016 uh, this program alpha go is actually a board a game of china okay so it is based on artificial intelligence and as you know this uh, google is a company and the uh, chairman and the founders are sergey brin okay sergey brin so option 2 is the right answer okay so this alpha go is related to board of game of china okay this is uh, related to current affairs okay let's see the next question The world tallest Jain statue is located in which of the following state? These are the four options. Student, uh, mostly Jain are found in either Maharashtra, Gujarat, and MP. Okay, so you can eliminate Karnataka and Uttar Pradesh. Okay, some are there, but mostly you will find in Maharashtra and Gujarat. Okay, and in Maharashtra there is one not eight feet. One not eight feet long statue of first Tirthankar that is Rishabh Dev, okay, Rishabh Dev. It is situated in Nasik, okay, in Nasik, Maharashtra. And uh, this Jain statue is the tallest Jain statue, okay. This is a question, so option one is the right answer. coming to the longest statue of india that is 182 meter that is statue of liberty okay statue of not liberty statue of unity okay it is statue of unity it is in 
गुजरात केवड़िया डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके केवड़िया डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टैचू ऑफ यूनिटी वन फिफ्टी एटी टू फीट ओके लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉन रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्स ओके दीज आर द फोर ऑप्शन अ वेरी सिंपल वन एज यू नो सोलर एनर्जी इज अ रिन्यूएबल कोल इज नॉन रिन्यूएबल सो ऑप्शन टू इज द राइट आंसर ओके वॉटर इज अगेन अ रिन्यूएबल फिशरीज इज अगेन अ रिन्यूएबल सो ऑप्शन टू इज द राइट आंसर लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट रेलवे लाइन वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड ड्यूरिंग द रूल ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग गवर्नर्स और जर्नल्स ओके सो स्टूडेंट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन एज यू नो लॉर्ड डलॉजी डिड अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क फॉर द इंडिया एंड ड्यूरिंग हिज टेन योर दिस फर्स्ट रेल लाइन वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड फ्रॉम वेयर बॉम्बे टू बॉम्बे टू थाने दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थर्टी टू किलोमीटर इन एटीन फिफ्टी थ्री द अदर नोटेबल वर्क डन बाई लॉर्ड डेलॉसी इज द पोस्ट ऑफिस ओके सो पोस्ट ऑफिस एक्ट ही हैड ब्रॉड ओके सो ऑप्शन वन इज द राइट आंसर ओके लेट सी अबाउट लॉर्ड कार्नवेलिस एज यू नो ही इज नोन एज फादर ऑफ सिविल सर्विस एग्जाम फादर ऑफ सिविल सर्विस एग्जाम एंड एज यू नो फर्स्ट गवर्नर ऑफ बंगाल इज फर्स्ट गवर्नर ऑफ बंगाल इज लॉर्ड वॉरन हेस्टिंग ओके and lord banting is a very popular governor because he has abolished what sati pratha he has abolished sati pratha just you can note it down okay so option 1 is the right answer it is not option 2 it is option 1 option 1 is the right answer let's see the next question The fundamental object of Panchayati Raj system is to ensure which among of the following. Okay, so as you know, uh, this Panchayati Raj system was brought under seventy third amendment of Indian Constitution, seventy third amendment of Indian Constitution, which is basically democratic decentralization. What does this mean? This means the work will be looked after. by whom panchayats the local government okay so panchayats are basically also known as local government okay so they decide they rule okay and this is basically democratic decentralization okay let's see the next question the first india greenfield greenfield airport has recently commissioned air commercial air operation at what this is from the current affair at that time it is 2016 current affair and the answer for that question was durgapur west bengal and if we see the recent scenario there is manohar parikar airport airport greenfield airport mopa which is in goa okay so this was inaugurated okay so option d is the right answer for this question okay let's see the next question so this is uh, related to the government schemes popular schemes so this dial 100 scheme for battle handling of crime in which of the following state okay so as you know during that tenure up is facing lot of crime uh, things okay so at that time former uh, cm akhilesh yadav has launched this dial 100 scheme okay so option 3 is the right answer it is not option 2 it is option 3 option 3 is the right answer let's see the next question which ministry has recently launched new make in india website again this is from the this was from the current affair in 2016 and uh, as you know ministry of defense at that time made a uh, make in india website okay a very aimful program of the government okay so option 1 was the right answer let's see the next question so the government has decided to withdraw the lpg subsidy for the lpg consumer self or spouse having taxable income more than dash of 
previous financial year so the answer was 10 lakh okay this again was from the current affair at that time so option 3 was the right answer okay let's see the next question it is from the static if shahaja built taj mahal what did hamaida ba banu begum built okay as you know shahaja built taj mahal in the memory of her beloved okay so as you know hamaida benu bagam uh, is the spouse of himayu so she built humayu tom okay so humayu tom was the right answer so okay so gol gumbaj as you know it is in bijapur karnataka okay bijapur karnataka and uh, diwani khas as you know it is one of the chamber in the red fort okay and uh, again it is uh, mainly related to shahajaha and victoria memorial as you know it is in kolkata okay so option 4 is the right answer for this question let's see the next question the word secular was inserted in constitution of india by what act uh, this is from the amendment and uh, as you know this secular word was inserted in 42 amendment okay the other words are also inserted like secular was there then socialist socialist was also put in that const amendment okay so 42nd amendment is very popular because all these word were inserted at that time okay let's see the next question how many squares are there in chessboard a very simple one as you must have played uh, chessboard during your school days okay so there were there were column of eight and eight eight rows and eight columns were there and there were 64 squares in the chessboard okay so option three was the right answer okay let's see the next question how many spokes are there in chakra of national flag so as you know an, our national flag has chakra in it and uh, it has 24 spokes in it which are in blue color and uh, this was taken from the ashoka ashoka chakra okay ashoka chakra and uh, one more thing it represent the 24 hours of the day okay which symbolize the principle of time okay 24 hours of the day okay so option 2 is the right answer let's see the next question it is from the journal science the function of hemoglobin in the body is what a very simple one as you know the most important function of hemoglobin is transport of oxygen okay so what is hemoglobin basically it is a pigment which is found in the red blood cells so basically it is in the blood so blood has various component like plasma rbc rbc and uh, wbc and one more is there that is called platelets okay so in s platelets okay so rbc are the cells and in which this pigment is present which is red in color okay so it is responsible for the transport of oxygen okay so let's see the next question as you know this uh, award is given every year and the first indira gandhi award for international justice and harmony was given to this is very difficult one but the answer for this question was yasir arafat okay so yasir arafat uh, was the correct answer for this question okay let's see the next question it is from the journal science and a very easy one as you know uh, due to capillary action this absorption of ink uh, by the bloating paper was done okay because of surface tension and other phenomena okay so option two is the right answer let's see the next question uh, it is from the science again ozone hole refer to what these are the four option okay remember student the ozone hole hole doesn't represent there is a hole in ozone layer so this is correct incorrect 
and uh, as you know ozone uh, hole refer to depletion of the thickness of the ozone layer so option 3 is the valid one it is not decrease in ozone layer it is a decrease in thickness of the ozone layer so option 3 is the right answer let's see the next question who has been awarded the 63rd Dada Sahab Falke award okay student this question is from the current affair in year 2016 and the answer for that time was Manoj Kumar okay so Manoj Kumar got this Dada Sahab Falke award let's see the next question which of the following is not constitutional body okay so student all these three options UPSC finance commissioner and national commission for schedule caste it is formed under different article like UPSC if you take it is uh, made by article 315 of Indian Constitution this is from 280 and this is from 338 okay just remember this Niti Aayog it is not a constitutional body and this is the right answer let's see the next question it is from the ISRO itself so this master control facilities it is also called MCF okay which is responsible for monitoring the geostationary and geosynchronous satellite launched by ISRO is located in where it is located in Hassan Karnataka okay it is also in Bhopal so second one is in Bhopal Madhya Pradesh okay the first one is Hassan Karnataka and it is not uh, uh, there okay so option 2 is the right answer let's see the next question I think this is the last question of uh, this session Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana was launched in India on what so it, as you can see it is again from the current affairs and the answer for this question was 28th August 2014 okay this is the current affair at that time okay so don't worry and if you are interested uh, in other videos we have made various video for especially DRDO and ISRO so if you have not subscribed our channel you can subscribe it and uh, just go for your exam okay so thank you for watching and have a nice day